You're looking at a video by winmo.nl, standing for We're in Mobile. My name is Jeremy and this time we're looking at this new and upcoming Yarvik TEP310 or TEP 310 and it's basically a new 8 inch Android based tablet computer by Yarvik. So what exactly can it do and what is in the box? See for yourself in this video. The Yarvik TEP 310 comes with the charger, earphones, of course the manual and the quick installation guide and this special port replicator. I'll be showing you more about this in a few. The tablet comes with an 8 inch screen with a resolution of 800 by 600. It is a resistive touch screen and on top you'll find a camera which is a 2 megapixel camera for taking stills and videos. This here is the Android back button so there's a hardware back button for that. Here on top you'll find the stylus, you can take it out like this. Next there is a speaker here, the microphone, the built-in microphone, the power on off or standby button, a volume button, plus minus a menu button, a home button, the other speaker, so we're talking stereo here, and this is a hardware switch to turn Wi-Fi on and off. This side here, a few ports and stuff, we find the power input, HDMI out, which we'll talk about later. This is a special uh, interface for using the port replicator, which I'll show you later on. And these are two um, micro SD slots. So it supports SDHC, so which means you can use two cards of 32 gigabyte, making a 64 gigabyte total of uh, storage expansion possibility. So it, uh, yeah, that's very neat here. And this here is the, the headphone out, so it's a 3.5mm jack. Then here on the back there's nothing but the logos. When pushed, the tiny reset button here on the bottom of the device performs a soft reset, meaning a reboot of the device. And running Android 2.2, this is the main screen of the Yarvik Tab 310. It has multiple desktops, and as you might know it works with widgets, like these. So you can uh, just add them or remove them. This is an application dock. You can uh, put your uh, shortcuts to your most used applications over here. And pressing this over here, you will be in the Android menu. It has a nice 3D effect to it, as you can see. And pretty much everything is there that should be there. Um, we're talking the web browser here and the basic email application, music player, video player, a photo browser, the clock of course, a simple e-reader application as well so you can read your common ebook files, uh, Wi-Fi settings, uh, Ethernet settings and uh, these here are for using with the, we're using the port replicator which has of course the RJ45 connector, a simple camera app and if we uh, move along you can see that your uh, additional installed applications will just appear over here like uh, Angry Birds Rio here and as a matter of fact I'm going to show you how it actually performs uh, on this tablet later on um, what to show let's start with a video alright we're inside a video player and as you can see there are three nice thumbnails of available videos here now just tap one and see what it can do This is a 720p HD MP4 file, and as you can see, it plays it very well. Just skip a part. Alright, for another one. This is a full HD MP4. So as you can see 1080p no problem. Yeah. 
here you see the mini HDMI cable that I've been connecting to the tablet and it's going to the TV and when we're playing a movie here on the tablet it will actually start playing on the tablet but then you have to press the menu key on top of the tablet the display will go down as you see and it will instantly switch to the TV Alright, now for some pictures. We're already inside the photo gallery application and as you can see you've got a few albums over here. Just open one, a nice row of thumbnails, open one and there you have it. Your picture, full screen, nice and crisp image and if you want to go to the next one you just tap the arrow and you can browse through your pictures. There are two zoom buttons over here and when you have them you can just press plus to zoom in and press the other one to just zoom out. Works a charm. And this is the music player. Of course you can load tons of music by using the SD cards and you can use your earphones to listen to the music or just the built-in speakers like we do right now. And just hit the number and off you go. We're connected by Wi-Fi and this is the web browser. Um, it renders very nice, it, it works, you can uh, scroll vertically or horizontally and if we just click a link over here you can see uh, the speed over Wi-Fi. As you can see it's very decent. Um, let's just tap in an address. Let's give it a go to Google. So as you can see it's a perfect device for just the web browsing on the couch or on the go and yeah, you've got it all. Angry Birds Rio. Nice performance. The port replicator has on this side two times a USB 2 port and it can support uh, hardware like keyboards, mice and USB flash memory. On this side you've got a RJ45 uh, network connector so um, when you have uh, a wired connection for your internet like in some hotel rooms or perhaps at home or in the office you can use that on the Jarvik Tab 310 and that is a very welcome and special feature it ends here to this connector and this is uh, yeah, some sort of proprietary connector when we take our tablet over here you can see the port over here and it's just like oh, the other side connecting and then you can add USB peripherals or your network wired connection to the tablet. And as you can see the port replicator is connected to the tablet and we have connected a mouse and a wireless keyboard to it. As you can see right here. And when we move the mouse, as you can see, there is a mouse cursor and we can just use the mouse like we do it on the computer by opening the web browser. And the keyboard is also functional. And this is a very convenient way of working on your tablet. So as you can see it's a very handy feature to have two USB 2 ports available by the port replicator. So what do you guys think? My opinion, I believe it's actually a very nice tablet to have. It runs Android, works with pretty much all your Android software, so it just works. It does do the video very well like you've been seeing, it has HDMI out, it does have the Wi-Fi, it comes with web browser and stuff like that. So yeah, a must have for the price. The price will be somewhere like 149 euros and the tablet will be available somewhere in July. Thanks for watching guys and until next time.